Hi, this is Fast Electric Bike. Today I'm going to explain how you make your own electric bike and exactly where you buy it from and how much it costs. Here you're looking at the rear hub motor on my Fast Electric Bike. And as you can see, have to apply the throttle and it spins. But this is pretty much a standard kit you can buy from many places which comes with the throttle as you can see here. The, the kit comes in two pieces, the wheel and then with all the electronics and wiring which I've neatly built into this box here but in the back here is an aluminium speed controller and all the wiring which connects all the way along here up to a throttle on the handlebars here. This one happens to be a thumb one. You spin it and it goes. The next biggest thing you need in the kit is the battery. This kit will do about 30 to 32 miles an hour and it comes with a 48 volt 20 amp hour electric battery. Sometimes the kit comes without it, sometimes it comes with it. Depends what works out more cost effective. Right. There's a few different places you can buy this from. Most obvious of which is uh, eBay. So if you just search for 48 volt, 48 volt, a thousand watts, because that's what you need. And it's various different places you can buy the kit from on eBay. Now in eBay UK, they don't really sell the batteries very often. So it's best to find them from somewhere else. Or if they do, the price is ridiculously high. But one of these kits, like this one here, you can get the front or the rear. If you're going to get this much power, it's best to get the rear kit because it's easier to control and more manageable. Now the kit would normally run you about 200 quid. This one here is exactly the one I've got here, which cost me about 200 pounds. The advantage of buying it from eBay is there's no customs on it. And all of these pictures, they show you all the bits you get with it get the wheel with the motor built into it, you get the tyres, um, you get the speed controller unit which is what all the wires connect to and you get the throttle, some of them come with a pedal assist sensor which you can attach but you don't need to and right so that's where you get the motor from then the only other thing you need is a battery now the only place I've managed to find these batteries is on this other website here called AliExpress which is basically a uh, Chinese website which links you up to manufacturers and this is where you can buy these from. Lots of the kits are identical to the ones on eBay and obviously all of this in, is in dollars but some of the kits come with batteries. Like this one here says it comes with a 48 volt 15 amp hour battery and it costs around $800 shipped to the UK. Now if you're going to get one of these it's best to go for 20 amp hour battery because the amp hours is basically how long the battery lasts. The more amp hours the longer the battery lasts and the faster you can go for longer. The downside with more is generally the battery is bigger and heavier. The battery in my system is around 5 kilos. The kit and rear wheel itself is around 7 kilos. The other drawback of getting it from China is more than likely you'll pay some customs import duty in the UK, which could be like 20, 30 pounds which is what I've had to pay in the past. So if you just bought the uh, 
the kit here quite simply by the battery on here if you just search for 48 volt 20 amp hour and then you get various different options here and you can just buy the, the battery separately it is a lot of hassle getting this from China mainly time consuming but all you have to do basically on this website is you click to buy it to view the product and um, then you, you put in all your payment details and you pay for it and then the manufacturer themselves don't get any of the money until you've received it and you click to say you're happy with it this website AliExpress they hold the money and that gives you more security basically so that if you have a problem more than likely you'll get your money back but this is never 100% guarantee but it's the most secure way of buying from these places uh, but best just to read all the feedback and gauge which one you prefer but you do have to bear in mind stuff from here generally takes about a month to arrive in the UK so do budget that and if you've already bought a kit yourself ask them to match up the wires so that you get the same wires to connect at this one here these are the two connectors for the battery if you buy them separately try and get them to match up this otherwise you'll be fiddling around connecting the wires yourself with different ones so that's what you do so once you've got the battery and the kit delivered it's very simple to fit if you've gone for the rear wheel like me all you have to do is unbolt your other wheel and bolt this one in simple bolt here but you can see the axle is longer and has a flattened surface so it does stick out your drop out a little bit but it makes it more secure and you get to choose how many speeds you want uh, this one I've got a 7 speed I think but this is just a standard free wheel so you can get one from here and change it as and how you want there's the uh, disc brake mount, the standard 6 bolt disc brake mount and the electric wires go in through the centre of the uh, axle into the electric motor itself and I myself have put quite a large disc brake on it just because you need the stopping power with something like this. And another top tip is to get a good tyre because the tyres they give you are just average tyres. Because this is not the easiest thing to get in and out. You're not going to want to have to stop at the side of the road every time you get a puncture. So I'd always recommend getting these Schwabel Marathon Plus tyres because they're very puncture resistant and I've not had a puncture yet after riding for over a year. The other thing to bear in mind when it comes to tyres is the size. The wider the tyre basically means the taller it is so the more top speed you get. If you get a really narrow tyre it's not as high so your top speed's lower but you get better acceleration. Uh, so basically I went for the widest one I could get which is a 175 um, which gives you a top speed unassisted of about 30 if you're pedalling you'll get about 32 basically and then all you do is connect up the wires and wire it up and plug in all of these connectors inside this box here usually have a unique um, connector on them, like this one here. They're normally all different for each thing. You'll have to, but this one here goes through this weird joint thing here. But uh, it's quite self-explanatory. And you have lots of spare connectors like this, which is for the um, pedal sensor. If you did want to put sensors on your pedal, you can use it as a normal pedal assist bike but that's not essential so basically that's how you do it all I myself built this little box 
on my bike just to make it fit better and more securely. Um, they normally come with a uh, rear pannier rack and a uh, bag that you can fit over the back to put all this stuff in. But because I wanted a full suspension bike, when you're going that kind of speed to make it more comfortable, uh, you can't do that so I had to build this box to make it more secure. Other things, once you've built it, if you wire up the throttle, it simply plugs in to uh, some of the wires. Some of them come with a twist grip one, this one comes with a uh, thumb one and it's got a simple on off button here. And when you start riding one of these bikes you realise you're going pretty fast so you're going to need some pretty decent brakes. We've got a 200mm disc and a uh, four pot caliper. I don't know if you can see that there. And believe me, even with a 200mm disc and four pot caliper, it's still a bit of a struggle to stop from top speed about 30 to a standstill if you're in traffic and you need to slow down. So it's very, very advisable to get these type hydraulic discs. You can get cheaper makes like the Avid ones, about 40 quid, but definitely worth getting a decent front one. And also for more stability I got an even larger tyre for the front. I got this Schwab Big Apple 2.3 just to give you a wider stance on the road. In the dark, if you're commuting, people don't really take notice of you. So I've invested in these other lights, which you can get also on AliExpress or eBay. Uh, you've got these super powerful uh, Cree something LED lights. This one here has got seven LEDs in. And it's just like having car headlights, basically. This one here costs about 40 quid on uh, eBay and the AliExpress website. And this one here, I've got, uh, let me just turn that off. This one here's got three LEDs in. A little hood to keep it a bit cleaner. And this is still an apple to show people that you're coming. Because if you're steaming along the road really fast, people don't always take notice of cyclists. So you definitely need some huge lights like this make you more visible. And that is my guide to how to build the ultimate fast electric bike. Obviously I've gone for the luxury option of front and rear suspension, which is what you need really when you're traveling that fast. Um, but if you're going to go for that option, you need to find a frame which has got a large gap in the middle if you want to go for this way and build some kind of box. If you're happy just to have a front suspension bike then you can stick with the rear pannier rack that they give you and the bag to put it in and that'll be more than enough but probably run your tyres a bit softer just for comfort when you're going over that. So all in all you need to budget yourself for the kit, for the kit, for the wheel, all the wiring and the battery you need to budget yourself around 600, 650 pounds. And then getting the bike is up to you. You can get a cheap one or you can get a, a nice one like this. But always invest in some decent brakes. It's very important. Otherwise you will be caught out at some point. Any questions? Give me a bell. And uh, I'll be happy to advise you on any... Uh, any questions you have about how to make the kit and things like that. Thanks for watching. See you next time on Fast Electric Bike.